Hello, Tyler Bryden here. I hope everything's going well. Today, I want to talk about a little bit of exploration uh, in Dali that I thought was very interesting for image generation. Uh, just sort of uh, triggered once from a successful prompt uh, that then gave me uh, some ideas. And I'm just exploring that in, in a couple ways. And that is um, basically adding um, from the perspective of. Uh, and um, in this case, um, what I did uh, was a massive willow tree from the perspective of an ant. And I've actually seen some even, uh, you know, more interesting renders of this where it's like showing an ant directly on the ground, sort of looking up uh, with the massive scope and with like sort of the vision that an ant uh, may have of a, of a tree. And I thought that this was really fascinating sort of modifier that you could put on the DALI image generation engine or any image generation uh, system in general that allows you to create um, images from a certain perspective um, that I think opens up uh, a lot of uh, doors. And I th what I'll do, I'll duplicate this one just so you can show a couple and then hopefully I'm going to uh, see if I can get uh, another version of this on the fly so we can see and I don't look like an idiot. Um, but here is the same mass, basically the same prompt, uh, massive willow tree from the perspective of a bird. Uh, and you can see very, uh, you know, intelligently uh, took um, the bird's perspective of flying above uh, the tree, looking down on that willow tree and giving you uh, that image in the end. So I thought that one was really fascinating. I originally tried to do one as a squirrel. Now I want to check out these two, um, ant versus uh, tree branch. It looks like there's a lot of similarities, even possibly almost the same Im images here. And I put a, a little bit of a modifier on it. And also a tree branch is not uh, a being, um, but uh, from that perspective, you do get, uh, you know, you do get this image generated in this, uh, in this, in this view, even if not fully accurate. I also tried uh, one more, which was uh, from the perspective of a shark, my original shark one didn't work. And then I did a perspective of the shark in the ocean. Now this one seemed a little bit less uh, impactful. Um, uh, just, I mean, first of all, why is a shark uh, doing that? Uh, and, um, you know, where, where is the shark? It probably doesn't know where to place this. So that while there are many nonsical uh, things, you can see um, that maybe it can't handle all of them or it doesn't make sense for a shark to have an environment uh, in it, uh, you know, in, in the water there. And that's why I got the uh, one that I got. I'm going to click uh, quickly here just to show what we would see if we just type, typed in a massive tree, the actual uh, image generation that we would get there. So you do still, still see a couple ones with the branch, but generally you start to see a little bit more of a further back view. Uh, and then I wanted to do one last test one uh, on the fly. Uh, so we've got a massive willow uh, tree from the perspective of a person climbing uh, the tree. Uh, and again, uh, all I wanted to show with this, in this video, just a very quick one, is that there's an option to add modifiers that can make a huge difference on the output that DALI creates for you. In this case, if you add from the perspective of, uh, it generally seems to understand that there is um, uh, a person, there we go, beautiful. Um, so now uh, this one, you can actually see the person and this one, you can see the person, but these two, it looks much more like a human actually uh, climbing the trees. And I just think generally the understanding of DALI to know that, uh, that there is a perspective looking through the eyes of a being and that knowing that that being, or even in this case, uh, a tree branch uh, has, um, uh, should have a modification on the output of the image, shows some of the intelligence that the, the system has. And I think if you are creating uh, art, if you're creating images from this, is a worthwhile thing to, to check out and try. So hope you enjoyed this video. Just a short, tight one as I sort of experiment uh, continuously with OpenAI's DALI image generation. I've uh, shared how to get access to it. I've also shared um, uh, some alternatives to it and generally uh, enjoying uh, this journey a lot as I uh, explore this. Hope you are too. If you have any other prompts that are interesting to you that you've found or uncovered please feel encouraged to let me send me a message drop it in the comments below uh or in general if you're interested or curious or you have ideas for prompts because it's breaking my brain trying to think of them sometimes send me a message appreciate everyone who checks these videos out very much hope you have a great rest of the day Bye bye